UK media were trying so hard to try and get Prince Harry back to the UK to visit the Queen in the summer during the Balmoral summer break that the Queen normally takes. Members of the squad, I tell you, the Royal Cult has so many vacations. It's hard to keep, you know, a number of how many vacations that they have, members of the squad, because it is indeed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, members of the squad. And now, members of the squad, just as I told you, Prince Harry and Meghan will not be going to Balmoral to see Queen Elizabeth. Harry and Meghan are booked and busy members of the squad. We know for a fact that Meghan's podcast, Meghan and Prince Harry podcast called Archetypes on Spotify will be released very, very soon. We know that for a fact. That's what we do know because it's been announced that Meghan's podcast is coming this summer. UK Tablet Media thought that they could bring, to, they could bring you know, Harry and Meghan, get Harry back in the UK for a summer break to get an opportunity at writing stories about Prince Harry and Meghan. <laughs> and I'm glad that Prince Harry and Meghan have put a stop to that speculation once and for all. Because one thing is for sure, members of the squad, I'm sure that they were already planning on writing stories about, hey, look, Harry and Meghan snapped the queen. As a matter of fact, let's wait for the summer because you do know it will happen. Tabloid media will write that somehow Harry and Meghan snapped the queen because they think that Harry and Meghan, in their minds, have nothing to do in California. When in reality, Harry and Meghan are working to put food on the table for the two children, Archie and Lipetana. Very, very busy. Megan's busy with Spotify. Harry's busy with Netflix to produce the heart of Invictus, members of the squad. They are booked and they are busy. Harry's working with Better Up. And then they think, you know, UK media, you know, they just believe they can snap their fingers and get Harry, you know, to the UK. That's what they think that they can just do. Harry is busy. When will this people come to town with the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan do not earn a penny of the taxpayer money? Because I think that they're suffering from, you know, a syndrome whereby they can't accept that Harry and Meghan, you know, are not earning a penny of taxpayer money despite the fact that the media itself called for Harry and Meghan not to earn a penny from the taxpayer. And when they got their wish, what did they do? They called Harry and Meghan greedy. Members of the squad. Because Harry and Meghan said, look, we don't want to earn any penny of taxpayer money anymore. Harry and Meghan repaid the Frogmore Cottage renovation cost. A house they were meant to believe was a gift from the Queen. It was then used against them. Some place, a place that looks like a you know servant's quarters that was already scheduled, was already scheduled for renovations. There was supposed to be a gift from the Queen. They were forced to repay back. Because Harry and Meghan stood up to their abusers. And knew that they deserved better. Better than waking up in the morning and passing a newspaper stand to watch their son get racially abused. Or turning on a TV screen and watch Meghan be the object of abuse for the tabloid. Because that's what they did. They dehumanized Meghan. They treated her less than a human being while Meghan was in the UK. Then somehow acted shocked, surprised when Harry and Meghan said they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family and leaving the UK after a tirade of racist abuse from the tabloids. Now they think that Harry and Meghan can come to the UK any time they want to. No, 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 no. Harry works with Better Up as the chief impact officer. Harry and Meghan work with both Netflix and Spotify. Members of the squad. They can't come at the whims to fulfill the whims of the tabloid media. 
that want to create some form of drama at Balmoral to write books about or write articles about slagging off Prince Harry and Meghan. Once again, abusers do really miss the ones they abuse, don't they? They really, really miss them. They really, really miss Harry and Meghan. They really, really miss them. Members of the squad, they really, really miss them. I mean, they chased away the goose that laid the golden eggs. Only for them to keep on spending their time wondering, will Harry and Meghan come to Balmoral this summer? Thinking that Harry and Meghan have nothing better to do in California. Why would Harry and Meghan leave their happy place to come back to be subjected to an endless cycle of drama orchestrated by the tabloid media to smear, to smear Harry and Meghan in an effort at destroying the spare? Because make no mistake about one thing. The tabloid won't stop. They won't stop because their goal is to destroy Prince Harry. Their goal is to destroy the spare and also hurt him by targeting his wife. That has been the modus operandi of the tabloid media and also the farm. I mean, like what Jisonov did, trying to help the Daily Fail win court against Megan after receiving authorization from Prince William to issue a statement against Megan in court, members of the squad. And despite all of that, they still failed. Megan won the case regardless, members of the squad. So Harry and Meghan can't come to the UK whenever the tabloids want, whenever they wish, because Harry and Meghan are busy. They just can't come whenever tabloid media feels like it. When they read the articles about Harry and Meghan, you know, will be coming to the UK to visit the Queen for Balmoral visit. Members of the squad. Because right now, they've turned to now say that Prince Harry and Meghan won't be visiting the Queen when she takes her summer break at Balmoral, despite an invite. Members of the squad, UK media are obsessed with Prince Harry and Meghan. They are obsessed. It's already past obsession. And what the tabloid media obsesses over, they seek to destroy. And they are obsessed with Prince Harry and Meghan. And Harry and Meghan are doing the right thing to keep away from this tabloid media level of gossip, trying to lure them into an abusive place. One thing you can always expect from an abuser is that he will, he or she will be abusive. And the tabloid media, the firm, they have been abusive and continue to be abusive towards Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, members of the squad. And so I'm glad that Prince Harry and Meghan are keeping the distance from their abusers, members of the squad. Because abusers will always like the ones they abuse back in the UK. And no matter what the media tries to do to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan, they will constantly fail. I mean, it's been six years. Years they have tried destroying them. Years and years of smears. And despite that, Harry and Meghan are still standing. We still see that beautiful smile that Meghan has after everything that she has been through, members of the squad. And that is what pieces of the tabloid media and the farm so, so much. Because this time, this is not the age of the late Princess Diana where there was no show media or Twitter or other sites. It's not the age of that. But they got away with those smears targeted towards the late Princess Diana. And eventually chasing her to her death. This time we see what's happening. I shall fight the hate. We shall fight the racism. We shall fight it tooth and nail, members of the squad. We shall never ever stop. We shall fight the racism. We shall fight the hate. And I'm thankful for this community fighting this, members of the squad. As I told you, that story was just another lie by the tabloid media. They were trying to write stories about, you know, how Harry and Meghan have snapped the Queen. Because, make no mistake about one thing, those stories would have led to that. And I'm glad that this story has been put an end to once and for all. Before that time. Because, make no mistake about one thing, they would have seen an opportunity at trying to say that Harry and Meghan snapped the Queen. And gotten got this fragile so-called royalist 
going after Prince Harry and Meghan. It's also despicable how they use the Queen's name in such in such a manner. How the tabloid media uses the Queen's name in such a manner. And what was the squad? It just goes to the fact that the Queen is complicit. If you're silent, you are complicit in what's happening. And it's shameful that the Queen herself has not stood up to fight the racism directed at Meghan, to fight the bullying of her own grandson, to fight the bullying of Meghan. It's so, so sad and despicable. And I'm always very, very glad that Meghan married a good man. And having a good father, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, a good man and a good father who loves his wife, who protects his wife and children. And may God continue blessing Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And so this story is finally over. Harry and Meghan are not coming. Harry and Meghan, as I said, are very much busy. Meghan's Spotify podcast comes out this summer. Ash types, you know, a podcast examining the levels that hold women back. I cannot wait to hear what Meghan has in store for us. And with this podcast, you know, that Meghan will be hosting, I sincerely hope that we can finally be able to fight misogyny towards women. I sincerely hope that we can be able to. That whenever we see a misogynistic terms, these misogynistic terms being used against women, we can all be able to fight these misogynistic terms. That's what I'm seriously hoping for. Because all these terms, misogynistic terms being used against Megan, you know, we sincerely hope that whenever someone sees it one, one more time, because Megan will talk about this in Ash Times podcast, that we can hold people to use that use those labels, those misogynistic words, to account for their misogyny. We must promote women empowerment. We must condemn to the highest forms all forms of discrimination targeted towards women at any and all times. Not just Megan, but all women across the world. Because it does happen. You know, as Megan even said that. You know, she is the target of the smear campaign. She's the one being targeted. But tomorrow, it could be you. And that's very, very much true. Members of the squad, let's keep on fighting racism, discrimination towards women. And members of the squad, let's keep on spreading love. Love, not hate. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. We love you, family, always and forever. And what did you think about this podcast? Stay tuned to our next video. Love, family. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.